He's campy, a little vampy, and he's thirsty for the sound of blood-curdling screams of laughter. Oh. Yeah. Count Drac is back. Inspired by the celebrated novel written by Bram Stoker, the blood-sucking man of great taste is stepping out of the shadows and into the spotlight for the clever and sexy reimagined stage play. And let's just say, he really knows how to make an entrance. And right there, dressed entirely in black, stood none other than... Count Dracula, nice to meet you. Alexa, turn down the music. <laughs> Mr. Harker. So good to finally be here. It was quite a journey. Welcome to my house. Please note that you have entered under no duress and of your own free will. He doesn't miss arm what day. What just happened? He doesn't miss shoulder day. He doesn't miss arm day. And I think you were his understudy. You were his stunt double. <laughs> well, guy. you're too kind. And he I believe it. you doing bicep curls back there. And the, okay. So. Well, Dracula, a comedy of terrors, features a pansexual Gen Z, Count Dracula, in the midst of an existential crisis when he thinks he's found the love of his life in the form of his real estate agent's fiance. The play celebrates the classic horror movie tropes, pop culture references, and gender bending hilarity, perfect for audiences of all blood types. <laughs> I am A. Plus. Joining us this morning with a closer look inside the coffin is some of the fantastic cast Jordan Boatman, Andrew Keegan Bolger, Arnie Burton, and Ellen Harvey. Welcome to New York Living. Thanks Thank for having you. us. Thank you for having us. <laughs> Our full disclosure, I'm sure she already told you, I'm going to expose her anyway. Our producer up there in the booth has, I said, oh, you say, I saw the show. She said, I've seen it twice. Yeah. <laughs> She's a real fang girl. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Very good. Did you call each other to coordinate all this business? <laughs> no, actually, we didn't. It's, okay. it's, it's just very yeah. insane. We're, at this point, well, we're well. all kind of like on the same, like, Cycle. Cycle. Yeah. Thank you for being here for it. We, yeah. we heard that you guys are besties yeah. both on and off the set. We're going to get into, into yeah. that in a whole lot more. Yes. Very interesting concept. You all play multiple characters each within the show. Within the show. So, yes. at that, can you go through and quickly tell us who you all play? Yes, I play Lucy Westfelt, and then I play Kitty, who is the household maid, um, oh. and a little crazy. And Kitty. then I play our lovely driver at the beginning. Oh my gosh, yes. okay. I play around seven characters, <gasps> mostly uh, John Harker, a grave digger, a bosun of a ship, and some suitors. And some suitors. Just a few. Yeah, okay. I play uh, Mina, uh, who is Lucy's, um, oh, let's say, less... Uh, less outgoing, sister. Less well, outgoing. I don't know, well, she's, uh, she's outgoing. outgoing. She, she she's puts outgoing. herself out there. And then I play uh, uh, Dr. Van Helsing uh, oh. uh, as a woman, uh, German. Yeah. Tectonic. Oh, I love this already. Yeah. 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 I, I play all men. Uh, so I play Dr. Westfeld, I play Renfield, <gasps> and I play the captain of the ship that goes down with Dracula's coffins on it. Renfield. Someone's got to go down with the ship. That's right. Yeah. Oh now, God. it is just, we've known each other now for a whopping two minutes. Yeah. <clears throat> but you all seem very collegial, friendly, besties. Is this appropriate? On our best day. On our good days. <laughs> on a good day. <laughs> Um, do you ever break character when you're on stage? Never. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the odds mm. How unprofessional of us would that be? Okay, oh, who's, who's most likely to break character? Um, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, <laughs> it's me. It's me. I, and the problem is you. Yeah, yeah. James, James or Dracula. Our Dracula, Dracula, Dracula himself. himself. This, yes. one, this one would never. Yeah. No. I don't think. You're, no. you're a tough one. I'm a tough one. We had one last night. Like, oh. right at the end of the show. It was like, oh, and James and I got a look, and I, I just said a line. Well, the way I say it, but he just was tickled by it, and then he broke. And He's always a little tickled by it. I think I James just say also... I live for. I, I live for when stuff goes wrong. Yeah. yeah. To yes. bring it on. It's, it's honestly great, great. one of the, the things I love most about going to the theater. Yeah. 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 And when I guess you have to see the show a couple of times to realize, wow, that was different. Yeah. 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 Exactly. It's also, I think, people like sense, like, oh, we're seeing something. Uh, that only we will see, yeah. you know. It's so, so and it's moment. a lie. Yeah. It's a lie. Right. Yeah. And they're also, we're so lucky. They're so funny. It's hard for me, you know, to not laugh when Arnie says something or Ellen <laughs> says something or Andrew says something new that he hasn't said yesterday. I'm like, ah, okay, no, those are, those are real people. <laughs> Let me so stop. Much. Oh my God, we gotta go see this. The show. I mean, we we kind of went through the plot a little bit in the open. 
It's just a wild concept. It sounds hysterical. You guys are hysterical. What makes it so unique? Or walk us through a little bit about what you love most about it. Well, I love that it takes like all the, uh, because I'm like a horror kid, so mm. I love anything horror. And it takes like this classic story and just kind of puts it in a blender with like Mel Brooks and Monty Python and no. all these great comic inspirations. And then it just like becomes a, a thing of its own, you know? It has such a kind of a, a uh, all the humor is loving and mm -hmm. fun and celebratory. Uh, there's nothing really snarky in it. Not, yeah, I no, just love nothing. the good kind of. It's a good, and it and it's you've got five great actors who commit 100 percent. So there's no like wink, wink, nudge, nudge. We are like committed completely, like those great. I do old, wink. Well, you wink once a month, maybe. Okay. Um, well, fair enough. But it makes it really fun for us too because everyone is committed. But it's it, the, the level of humor and comedy is very much like Monty Python and yeah. Mel Brooks. Yeah. And I think it's very intuitive. <laughs> the things in the original story that would make me chuckle or that would make me go, <laughs> that's a little. We just play it up that much more escalate. and bring it out. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's genius because I mean, if you know the story mm -hmm. and if you've ever seen any iteration of Dracula, no. he was pansexual from day one. <laughs> I mean, let's yeah. stop yeah. acting like he Absolutely. was this man who exactly. went sucking yeah. everyone's yeah. Ding, blood ding, ding. and was a vampire. So thank you for leaning into that because yeah. I can sleep well at night now. <laughs> <laughs> thank God they have. We've identified that for you. There yeah. you go. Okay, so we have a few questions for your characters, if that's okay, because okay. uh -huh. we don't know if we're ever going to get this shot again. So <laughs> talk to you. In this, in this light, Are we, shall we dive in? Uh, Harker? Oh, hello. <clears throat> what were your first impressions of Dracula when you first met him? Ooh. When I first met Count Dracula, my first impression was his castle was rather gloomy, but his fashion dead on. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to go into that like, vampire's closet, apparently. Yeah, thank you, Harker. <laughs> Harker. 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 Harker with an R. I'm right, saying Haka like I'm from. Are you from Haka? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now, okay, Lucy. Yes. You are an adventurer at heart. I am. However, what draws you to danger? Oh, you know, I just like to know the facets of how things work, how things come together. You know, I think people are, are happy or satisfied to sit in their circumstance, but my life can be a bit slow normally with my darling. So sometimes I like to get out, get a little riled up, see what's going on, see what I can find. Here, here, mm. sister, who doesn't? Exactly, right? Here, here. Uh, and you and your betrothed, yes, you're yes. engaged? Mm -hmm. Who's the top, who's the bottom? <laughs> oh my! <laughs> well, I always like to say, uh, Lucy and my relationship, it's like a, a nice cup of Earl Grey tea. Yes. She's warm and comforting, and yes. I'm the jittery spoon just clattering against her poise <laughs> elegance. That's true, and sometimes I like to put just a bit of whiskey in, just a, just a, just just a, tip. a tip. That's it. <gasps> but uh, we balance each other out. It's lovely. I, <laughs> I, uh, I've just I got character. what I asked for. <laughs> Oh. You didn't tell me you were doing that one, dear. Yeah, well, I couldn't help it. <laughs> the, the, next question, the next question is for Mina. Oh, yes. <laughs> Mina. I'm so happy someone's talking to me. <laughs> what, what, are, Mina? what are the main qualities that you are looking for in a suitor? Oh, um, that he's alive. No, <laughs> scratch that. <laughs> that. That's not a prerequisite. Um, Yes, that he's in the room with me. Oh. Yes. Oh, I simple. do prefer if they're in the room. Yes. Poor Mina. Oh, oh Mina. Dad. I'm so sorry. She asks for so little. Oh, my God. Dr. Westfield, <clears throat> your yes. daughters are <clears throat> Mina and Lucy. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. Tell us the truth. Do you have a favorite daughter? Well, you know, people ask that a lot because, of course, my daughters are very close in age. But I would have to say that no, they each have their own very specific quality that I admire greatly. My lovely Lucy, I mean, she is just the smartest, most outgoing and charming and well-spoken. And <laughs> well, Mina has good fashion. <laughs> she does. Good she fashion. does. She's very fashionable. Good fashion. <laughs> it's big fashion. Oh, y yes, darling, but it's, at least it's fashion. <laughs> yeah. Dr. Van Helsing, <laughs> women doctors are a rare breed. Mm. Mm. What yeah. makes you better than your male counterparts? Wait, what? repeat the question. Dr. Van Helsing, <laughs> yeah. women doctors are a rare breed. Mm, what so makes true. you better than your male counterparts? Well, I like to think that I bring a certain sex appeal <laughs> to, to science, and to hunting vampires on a certain maternal instincts. 
that I also bring to bear. I don't know. Both. I'm so, <laughs> both. so loud. Both sex appeal <laughs> and maternal <laughs> instinct. Wow. <laughs> so the gift. Instinct. So milf, and milf status. Oh, I was just going to say, uh, uh, Renfield, what is it like working with Dr. Westfield? Um, <clears throat> but he's a very, very nice <laughs> man. Um, and he's brought me home, and um, he's, he's very nice. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, it's quite good. He's, he's well, really well, good. Thank you all for, for joining <laughs> us on New York Living. That was wonderful. Can of we talk course. to the actors now again? That's what I said to all of you. Exactly. Oh, my. Oh, my. Holy smokes. They really come in strong. No this was kidding. No kidding. Thank you all so much. Yeah, thank you all for having us. So much fun. Oh, you probably Wait. were not expecting to have to do that. Are you <laughs> when, can we, when can we go see the show? Not soon enough. I know. Dracula, a comedy of terrorists, by the way, is now playing a limited off-Broadway engagement through January 7th. Oh, thank God. Yes. At New World Stages, you can purchase your tickets online at DraculaComedy.com. Maddie, write that down. Oh, my gosh. Thank you all so much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Was the best fantastic. way to start a Friday. <laughs>